Welcome to the Universal ECG training video from Numad Healthcare. Once all patient's preparation and hookup is complete, connect one end of the extension cable to the patient lead and the other end to a spare USB port on your PC. The Universal ECG system is powered directly from the PC. There is no mains power or battery required. Ensure that you have the correct patient open within System 1. Click the i3 icon on your taskbar. This will launch the i3 software whilst keeping System 1 in the background. If you don't have the i3 icon on your taskbar, then you will find this on your desktop. Clicking the Start button will take you to the product selection screen. Click the ECG button. If you are using more than one type of ECG machine, a sub-menu will appear. Ensure that Universal ECG is selected, then click Start again. I3 will now connect to System 1 and pull through the active patient's details. Confirm these details are correct by clicking Yes. These details will then be sent to the Universal ECG system and the CardioView ECG software will launch. The real-time ECG monitoring trace will now appear on the screen. Down the left-hand side of the screen, all 12 lead views are clearly labelled, and in the top right-hand corner, the patient's heart rate can be viewed. Sensitivity and speed are set to the standard default setting, and can be adjusted if required. The lead display menu provides you with the option to view a variety of different lead views. For example, you can isolate the chest leads. We would recommend that a 12 lead view is used so that you can see that a good quality trace is being received on all leads. If a lead wire is disconnected, the offending lead will be highlighted down the left hand side of the screen with a red circle and a line through it, enabling you to resolve the issue without having to check each lead individually. The PC may also emit an audible indication. The Universal ECG system has two filters. The 50 Hz power filter will reduce noise or fuzziness appearing in the trace caused by interference from other electrical devices. This filter should be defaulted to ON. Dependent on your operating system, the button will either be depressed or shaded blue to indicate the filter is active. The muscle filter is used to help reduce artifacts or fuzziness appearing in the trace caused by a muscle tremor. The muscle filter can be applied by clicking the muscle button. Once enabled, a reduction in the muscle artifact should be visible. Monitor the ECG waveform on the screen. Once you have observed at least 10 seconds of a good quality trace on all leads, you are ready to acquire the ECG by clicking the Save button. When the Save button is clicked, the previous 10 seconds of ECG recording will be captured and you will be taken immediately to the filing process. This differs from many traditional trolley-based ECG machines, which often record for a period of time after the acquisition button is pressed. As part of the filing process, you have the opportunity to enter a comment to be filed alongside the ECG report in System 1. For example, you might want to note any patient-specific symptoms or who requested the ECG. We will just enter the word training so that you can see where it appears. If a comment is not required, simply leave the text box blank and click OK. The document is now being filed into System 1 and shortly after a confirmation of filing will be displayed. Click OK on the confirmation message and the i3 software will close. The results can now be viewed in the patient record. In the new journal, you will see that the ECG attachment has been read coded automatically with a 3212 standard ECG read code. Our comment of training can be seen to the right of the attachments. The attached results report appears in two different formats, a PDF document and a CardioView ECG file. It's worth noting that the CardioView ECG file is a proprietary format. In order to view the results in this format, CardioView software has to be installed on every PC where the results are likely to be viewed. 
However, the PDF report can be viewed on any PC with PDF viewing software, which is commonly installed on most PCs. To open the attached results, right-click and then select View in Windows. The report contains the patient's details, the average measurements and the system interpretation with a standard resting ECG report format. Beneath this is two and a half seconds of every lead view with a 10 second rhythm strip of lead 2 along the bottom. This concludes the basic ECG capture and filing process. We are now going to show you some additional options available when capturing an ECG. The first of which is save and print. If this option is selected, the ECG will be captured and you will be taken into the filing process, just the same as clicking the save button. However, the software will also send a request to the default printer for a hard copy of the ECG report. Another useful feature is the stop button, available during ECG monitoring. If you had noticed some unusual rhythm activity on screen but hadn't managed to press the save button in time to capture it, simply press the big blue stop button. This will stop the real-time ECG monitoring and a scroll bar will appear at the bottom of the screen. Moving the scroll bar will allow you to scroll back by up to 15 minutes of the monitoring period, enabling you to display a 10 second segment on screen to form the ECG report. Click Save to begin the filing process for your chosen segment. A further option that becomes available by clicking the Stop button is the Print button directly beneath it. If this is pressed, it will print off the trace for the whole of the monitoring duration to a maximum of 15 minutes. If the Save and Review option is selected, then the CardioView file will appear. To file the results, close the software by clicking the cross to the very top right-hand corner of the screen. You will then be taken into the filing process. Enter a comment if required. Click OK and wait for the confirmation message that the filing of the report into System 1 is complete. If you need any more information on how to use the Universal ECG system, please contact our technical support team on 0114-399-0010 or visit www.numed.co.uk.